everyone! As promised, this is going to be Black Sabbath, Black Sabbath, Black Sabbath. Two things have really caught my attention. First, I've been told that Black Sabbath is the birth of heavy metal. And second, this is the very first song they published. So here we have a band which comes out for the first time. And when they do, they invent something that was never heard before, an entirely new genre which, over time, was picked up and carried on by others, developing all the way to now, almost 53 years later. But before I start my first listen experience with Black Sabbath, I want to share a little thought with you. You see, recording a first listen of a song doesn't really take too much time or effort. 20, 30 minutes max of recording time. Of course, there's the setup and takedown and all of that. That's it. And I know it is indeed interesting to rediscover a dear piece of music through the eyes, well, in this case, the ears, of a professional musician who has never heard it before. But the second part is, at least from my perspective, far more interesting than the first listen, because there, for an in-depth analysis, I work for hours over the course of several days to assess, discover, learn, and choose what and how to present the highlights of my discovery journey. Remember, I've been listening to it many times over in the course of those days, so I'm immersing myself in this particular musical experience. My reason for, well, actually, I have two reasons for doing this. One is, good music should never be treated carelessly. And the second is, we should always desire to dig deeper, to find out more, learn more about anything. Well, in this case, it's about music, which I am passionate about. And I know many of you are too. And it's especially about music that is deeply loved by many people. Now, Vlad and I are a little disappointed to see that many of you aren't watching the second part of each pair of videos, the first listen and the in-depth analysis. So I know maybe, maybe you just want the thrill of watching someone hear it for the first time and that's all. But I would love for you to also have the thrill of discovering something new in it for the first time as well. For example, the, the Ohne Dich by Rammstein, my first listen now, at this day that I'm recording this, has 166,108 views. Whereas the in-depth analysis only has 23,164 views. That means that only 14% of those who have watched the first part have gone on to watch the second part as well. Or Brothers in Arms by Dire Straits. The first listen has 206,915 views today. The in-depth analysis has 47,620 views. That's 23% of those who have watched the first part have gone on to watch the second part as well. Now, you don't have to go on and watch the second part, but I strongly encourage you to. I really want you to give it a try. Go on, check it out. I always link it for easy access. And do let me know in the comments how it impacts your experience of the song. I so enjoy the comments of those of you who have gone on and do go on to watch the second half. I love hearing your feedback, your input. I love hearing how it has affected your way of hearing this, the song and how you bring me even more new ideas and things to notice within the music. And so I just want to encourage you, go on and try it out. See if 
it's worth it for you as well. I think it will be. So having said all that, let's move on. And um, I am ready to dive in to this triple decker Black Sabbath music and see what it's like. So let's get started. Here we go. It's interesting to me how already no music has played, but the title Black Sabbath and then the rainstorm effect along with the church bells is setting up in my mind that maybe there's been some bad news. It's a very dark day. It's it's gloomy weather, but, but the gloomy weather is more representative of a very black day in experience. I don't know what's coming, but that's what I'm hearing at the beginning. I think that that opening is really amazing. Just those few notes and maybe it's because I'm getting more used to this guitar sound, right? So I'm able to, to hear musically what's happening more than just trying to decipher what it is I'm hearing. And so I feel like that opening was just very compelling. And also the drums gave this um, feeling of, I, I don't know, I just feel like it all worked together so well and gave a really gripping opening to the piece. So now the voice has just come in. I'm going to back up a little bit. And we'll go on. What is this that stands before me? Fair and black, which point?
feel like it's really, mm, how should I say? I guess what I want to say is that it's, it's painting a picture in my mind of something happening, some experience going on and and um, it doesn't sound, of course I'm just at the beginning, it doesn't sound terribly complex but it's so um, effective in getting this image across to me. I can, I can picture a street and a, a, an environment and a, a feeling around this experience. And that to me is something that is a, a really great accomplishment for music to achieve. So let's go on. I love what the music is doing with this this motif. Bam, bam, bam. It's 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 using the same thing over and over, but it's so perfect for this. And I don't feel like it's um you know, sometimes you can have something repeating over and over and it gets old or you feel like it's tiresome or it's just there to to give you a rhythmic push or something like that. But I feel like here, it's really part of the artistry of the piece. So I'm going to go on. But I just wanted to mention that, that that little interlude where there was no voice between the verses and the same thing was happening over and over. It was so effective. And I guess that seems to be my theme word on this piece so far is that it's effective. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Red, black shape. I'm also enjoying that this is not so frantic and crazed as the King Diamond song that I listened to. Um, it's more, it's more like it's, 
it's setting you up and giving you enough information, enough shape and color and music to set the scene. And even the lyrics are, are not saying a whole lot. It says a little bit, kind of gives you a little snapshot, and then a sort of personal reaction to the snapshot. And that's all. And, but it's enough to make you, make me, feel like I am in the moment and it allows my imagination to fill in the gaps. And I enjoy that. Okay, something is changing there and, and I'm just thinking about what I've heard so far so I want to finish my my thoughts about that in case this goes somewhere else. So I'm thinking about this motif that we've heard all the way through now, unrelenting. It almost becomes a sort of march uh, march feel like this this terrible thing is marching on inevitably. It, it, it cannot be stopped. It's, it's this horrible thing happening. Um, and, and you see it coming, but you're forced to keep going there. And I'm, I want to point out to you that this motif is built on the tritone. And if you think back to the, um, King Diamond piece that I looked at. I talked about the tritone a little bit, which is this particular interval, which sounds like this, like this. That's two sets of tritones. There's one here, there's one here. And this, this motif is here to here, and then to here, whatever it's doing there. And, and, and I'm hearing that over and over. And if you remember what I said about the tritone, it has this whole s history of connotations and associations with evil, with the devil, with, with hellish things. And so even musically, I haven't, I haven't gone to the second part. I, I guess I'll dig into this, but I just want to tell you that I'm noticing this and hearing this now, and it's so obvious. I want to, at least to my ears, and I want to make sure that you understand that this is the sound that we are hearing, is this devil's interval in the music. Okay, I'm going to keep going. It's, it's, it's like, <clears throat> so again, I have the lyrics here in front of me. Although I have to say that I'm able to understand this singer, whoever he is. I've got to look that up. I don't know yet. Um, I can understand what he's saying and I'm not struggling to follow his words. But anyway, I do have the lyrics and so I see it coming ahead in the next line. People running because they're scared. And, and I guess the music 
started this verse with this sort of running, 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 like, like everything is, everybody's running away trying to run. And, um, I hear the music anticipating that line in the lyrics. All right, let's keep going. And now here's where the mu music is getting to the point where I have to concentrate because now it's all this sound world, which is still new enough to me that it sounds a bit chaotic. Well, of course, it's probably meant to sound chaotic here, but, but the, the tone quality of the instruments has changed here for probably a very effective artistic purpose, but, but I have to get into it. So I'm going to back up just a little bit here. I want to hear that transition again as it goes through this. So I think this is somewhere in the running phase. back that up just a little bit again because I can hear the bass making its downwards walk over and over and it that's kind of replaced the tritone motif and it's it's related to it but it's a different set of musical notes and now and so that's what I noticed first was the bass line happening and I'm going to try to focus my mind to this what's going on in the guitar up top now coming to the end but but I just noticed something this this stepping down bum, bum, and so forth it's been walking down one two three four something like that and now at the end it's only getting down the first two steps bum, bum, and then it starts over bum, 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 and and it's a way <laughs> Sorry, I pushed start before I was ready. It's a way to, it's something that, that composers do to build uh, tension and, and increase the pace, the perceived pace of the music. I noticed that it's not actually speeding up tempo-wise, but, but the musical content is coming faster and more rapidly one after the other to where you don't even get to finish hearing one before it comes the next time. Okay, let's see if I can make it to the end.
okay, I made it to the end. And I guess it wasn't as terrifyingly as intense as I thought it might be. Maybe I was a little nervous because of my King Diamond experience and my Metallica experience, which were both, I, I, I had challenges getting through those and staying engaged. But, but here, this one, probably because it's the first and, and very early in the genre, it's simpler and it's easier for me to relate to because it's not too much happening at once for me to follow and keep up with. At the same time, I can understand why this was so popular and, and became so iconic because it's an incredibly well-constructed piece of music. And I am going to try to explain that um, in the second video and, and show you some of the reasons, some of the things that makes it what it is. I, you've heard me mention some things that I've noticed along the way, and I'll be digging more into that a bit in the next video. So keep your eyes open and, and your ears open, and um, we'll see what comes. That's it for today. But before I go, let me remind you about the poll, which is still open in the community tab. If you will go there and vote for your favorite band, that would be wonderful because next month I will review the winning song. Also, remember that we publish both parts of my experience with this song at the same time here on YouTube. Both the first listen, which I've done just now, and my in-depth analysis, which is coming next. If you want early access to the first listen, all you have to do is visit my coffee page and make a donation of your choice. And then, of course, that will give you early access to all of my first listen videos. If you want to receive notifications when I post new content, you can activate it by clicking the little bell next to the subscribe button and click this link to watch the second half of this experience where I do the in-depth analysis and I'll tell you more about what it is that I've heard in this music right now after I've had a bit of time to research more about it. I'll see you soon.